Hello, I'm at the NAACP Rank with 2016 with my teacher for the fifth grade, Miss Lawson. So, what have you been doing since I've been gone? Okay, let's see. I came out of retirement. I went back to school. I'm teaching fifth grade at South Ward, and I'm enjoying my grandbabies. Hi, my name's Destiny, and we're here with the Aubrey twins. And before we get started, I have a question. Which one of you guys is the oldest? Oh, that's me. That's me. I'm the big brother. I'm the big. He's bigger than me, but I'm the big brother. Hey, coming in at number seven for this week's top ten countdown, we have S O C O M. We're crazy. Good morning, this is Dr. McKellar and we're broadcasting live from Poundsfield Airfield here in Tyler, Texas. We're so excited this morning because we have young Isaiah Cooper that has landed right here in Tyler, Texas. I was able to be with Isaiah when he kicked off his flight out of Compton, California at the first part of the month. I think it was five, yes, five July. We were able to go out to California and join him. And let's first say that we commend you, Isaiah, for the great work that you're doing and your great instructor who is flying with you around this nation. Happy day today here in East Texas. We wanted you to come, Isaiah, because we want the young folk here in East Texas to see what great work that you're doing and to show them that whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it certainly can achieve. So tell us a little bit about uh, what your feelings are now. And, and first, but let me say, Robin Peetley is your... It's my chief executive pilot. Yes, and uh, he is just doing amazing work with all those young folk there in Compton, California. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Well, my name is Felicia Lee, and I am visionary and founder of the Milky Way Day. So, extended version would be Exploration and Discovery Day. Um, and what that consists of, basically, is a dreamer's opportunity. So, um, visions and dreams, things that people want to do uh, within themselves, actually having a platform to where they can explore uh, and go higher. So, <laughs> my name is Isaiah. This is my son. This is my youngest son. Isaiah. I'm looking forward to Wicked Way Day. <laughs> I like this keyboard. <laughs> and so, the keyboard. Well, with this experience that we have just had, um, Isaiah has had the opportunity to basically look at something that he's really never done before. And he's actually had an opportunity to actually explore and to discover uh, what he can about the keyboard because he has opportunity to, to see that a lot of things are programmed in uh, some of the music he recognizes what else did you catch the tone and the rhythm the details yeah and then playing the keyboard it's harder than I thought it was you know? <laughs> it was fun yeah I just didn't do it it was fun <laughs> I like the music better I was, I was really just listening you know? I wasn't really trying to do it so he he did he did what he enjoys, which he does. He loves music. He has an ear for music. Yeah. Okay. Your mother was telling me you like to read. What are some of the things you like to read in life? You know, come come books, man. Come books are my you know, books, you know. Flight like come books, uh autobiographies, I think autobiographies. Uh you know. I haven't said why, but you know, they good and stuff. So. Name one of the autobiographies that you like. Uh Frederick Douglass one. I, I don't know written that. It, no, it's a narrative. That's what it is. The narrative is like Frederick. What do you like about Frederick? Uh, he's smart, I guess. Me, you know, the way he talked and stuff. Tell me more about him. Uh, he was a runaway slave. Uh, he married a white woman. He went through a lot. Uh, he was a, Well, they talked a lot about how he was an eloquent speaker and stuff. So, oh, that's cool. Ah, Show the vision. Oh, this is Frederick Douglass. Okay. I don't know what you got. 
<laughs> Did it surprise you that an average slave sold back in the day, back in 1735, for $1,200? You see the price there. Does that surprise you? Oh, right here. Yeah. Does that, is that a lot of money or? Uh, for that time, I, yeah, it was, wasn't it? <laughs> Yeah. Right. Wow. That's you a fortune. You want to say something about that? I said around 1735, a slave was, a good slave was sold for $1,200 back in 1735. What, is, what, what would you say about that? Wow. Um, for one thing, that it was, the stage was set to capitalize, I mean, easily. I mean, that for one person. Back in that time, that was that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money, and it's a lot of waste at the same time. But it's a lot of money, and so um, whenever you have a situation where humans are capitalizing off of another human, you're definitely gonna have the high and the low of of life. I mean, the top and then the very lowest of the low. And so I'm actually quite shocked. <laughs> Destiny, and we're here at the Josh Aubrey football camp. And today we have Pebbles. Uh, can you tell us a little bit, about, a little bit about the camp? Um, the camp has been very inspiring for the boys today. They've really had a great time. They got here early this morning. They were all excited and couldn't wait to get here. Exploration. Hi, I'm Destiny, and we're standing here with Jaden. Um, are, is this your first year to attend? Yes. Okay. What do you look forward to while you're... Uh, let's see what kind of rewards they give out. Tell us a little bit about your flight. We understand that you got into a little snafu when you kicked <laughs> off with your Cessna out of uh, Compton. Tell us about that. So it was a blue cheetah Grumman with a red tail. Um, we flew it from Compton, California, and once we got to Cheyenne, Wyoming, mm -hmm. we had a forced landing, which caused the plane to um, have a bent propeller and a broken wing. So from the next day, we had Roger's Cessna ship to us, <laughs> and from there we continued the journey. <laughs> My name is Jada, and I'm rolling in with number five, Carmen Brown. I am still with you. Girl, what you gonna do? That was the name of it. Girl, what you gonna do? Because you know sometimes when somebody's telling us about their problems, we say, girl, what you gonna do? You know, and that was the name of it. And it was just um, every character going through their life issues and saying, you know, well, what we gonna do about this? <laughs> 